for your super notion website this is what we're going to cover right now page descriptions page descriptions are that important little bit of text below your search result so if i go to google and i type in productivity hacks and then go to a search result you'll see here six popular blah 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 the gist this right here is the post description or the page description the seo description that we're going to be talking about now for each of your pages within your super notion website okay so right before we get into that i do want to give you a few tips about this number one you want to use and fo uh, use your focus keyword so this is a blog post from neil patel one of the top people in this industry okay so use a focus keyword make sure that something in there targets your focus keyword because what google will do for multiple reasons it's valuable but one thing google will do is it will bold those keywords so if i go back to my search here you could see that productivity hack is what i searched and it's now being bolded in the search here so if this is what you're focused after productivity hacks and use it in your description use it in your title but use it in your description as well so there's that another thing too is don't get too caught up in character count they often recommend that's what a uh, uh, tip he gives but they often recommend anything between 50 to 300 characters so let me find that here could see SEM rush conducted an experiment to test this principle and found the variation of the meta tag they used that exceeded 320 performed better and ranked higher so that's really good information there and it does show that sometimes a little bit longer does work Google does decide how much real estate to give any one result if you look here most of these have about the same real estate but if you go up here you'll see these these are different these are different types of results but for the most part these have about the same amount of real estate so let's do this and see what else there is most of these have the same yeah so basically the same all right now next let's talk about more best practices so this is from backlink you could see here some advice he gives is use bene benefit driven copy so you'll see this is the definite guide to on-page seo and this is what he writes this is a complete guide to on-page SEO. Learn exactly how to optimize your titles, descriptions, and content in 2021. So very easy, very user-friendly, great setup there. Let's see what else he suggests. Stay under 155 characters. You can see how there's con competing suggestions here, but it's a give or take. You could do either. I've seen other experts say either as well. My tip is always do either, whatever works better for you. Typically, I go longer, actually but that is up to you. Click through rate, okay, use the current month or year. So you could use that in the description, that is that is helpful. Include your target keyword, what Neil Patel called focus keyword, and then write unique meta descriptions for each page. Yeah, don't duplicate descriptions for each page. So you wanna write a unique description for every single page. And what is this? Use this proven description formula. Let's see what his formula is. This is a complete guide to on-page SEO. Learn how to get higher rankings with this in-depth post. This is a content overview. Learn how to get specific benefit from this content description. So this is one way to look at it. Another way to look at it, I think this is super valuable. Another way to look at this is to consider three elements as well. Your keyword along with the benefit. And then from there, ensuring that it's there is some type of hook in it. So plus a free resource or 14 points or anything that can really help someone materialize it so this is a complete guide complete guide is kind of like the 14 points in this way but this is a complete guide to on-page seo learn how to get higher rankings with this in-depth post this is a 14 step guide to on-page seo could be really useful as well all right so let's go into our site so right now i'm in my site on super and if i go to pages now every single one of these pages has this little globe icon so if you click on this globe icon you could make adjustments now i'm going to actually start without the home page i'm going to start below that so if i click here you'll see site title and site description so here you could add in the site title and site description they didn't do a good job of this quite yet they're gonna get there they will get there this should actually say page title because it's not the site title here that you're changing you're changing the page title specifically yeah so this should be page title but let's say directives i'm gonna call this a life directives and then the thing here that super hasn't optimized yet is the ability to quickly add different sections let's see if it this works no it doesn't okay so as of right now it 
you have to do each one manually. But let's say life directives, you could add additional info here, focus keyword plus additional info if you want. This is just, this is for the title. So if we go here, that's what that title is. You could use more space like productivity hacks filtered. If I don't know what filtered is, I'm not really excited about this. Powerful productivity hacks for from six successful entrepreneurs. This is interesting. You know, this grabs my attention. I don't, I've never been to the site, but this grabs my attention. So those are a few things to keep in mind for writing the SEO, the site page title. And then for the page description, here for the page description, this is what we've been talking about so far, right? So let's go back to our article here and see, okay, drag this over here. All right, so this is a, okay, so I'm really just flying with it right now. I just wrote this out. So this is a set of life directives and productivity hacks that helped me scale $1 million plus in less than 12 months. Learn how to get clear on your goals from this in-depth post. Boom, so now we've added a page description. This is the most important part for SEO. We also have site image and site keywords that we can add in as well. Site image is more for social sharing and other factors like that. So you could go here, upload an image. Um, let me just grab a random image for now and say, let's see this, what's this? Desk, cool. Okay, so I'm gonna upload that image. It'll fill up the space here. And then for keywords, uh, productivity hacks, productivity tips, do that. And then go back here, cause it looks like it had a problem. It might be too big. That can be a true, that can be an issue an error occurred. Okay, I'm going to hit save and then possibly come back to this. And just like that, you have added page titles and page descriptions. Now you want to go through all your pages and do that before you do uh, the next video or a, a subsequent video coming up, which is around Google Analytics and Google Search Console, primarily Google Search Console. Uh, in that video, we're going to talk about submitting your sitemap and getting your sitemap submitted where you go into this program and you submit your sitemap, you're going to want to do this after you write all your page descriptions and all of that content. Okay. So for now, go through, start writing out your page descriptions, do a Google search. If you need help figuring out what to write or how to write it, all of that and get going on that. Hey guys, thank you for watching today's video. If you got value from this video, hit that like button. When you hit the like button, it lets the YouTube algorithm know some important information, but it lets me know that you got value from this content. If you have any questions, drop them down below in the comments. And with that, if you got value from this video and if you're looking for more content just like this, I publish a new video every single week, if not multiple videos every week, hit that subscribe button. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.